What's up, everybody? Tindo here. With me, I've got a weirdo. And we've been thrift shopping today. We came home with lots of great stuff. Some surprising stuff, really. And some junk. We bought some junk today. Some absolute garbage. But that's okay, because that's, you know, that's what this channel is all about. Garbage. <laughs> Check this out. Our first stop is a little gym of a thrift store called Indian School Thrift. And we have only ever been to this thrift store once, and it was very recently. And we were on this side of town not intending to go here, but we saw it. And we said, well, let's stop. And last time I was here, there were a couple video games right inside the door here on these DVD racks. So I'm checking it out just to make sure there aren't any there. And it looks like there aren't any either on that shelf or this one. So, uh, hopefully there's some video games somewhere else in the store, because there aren't any here. This store really is interesting, and it's not close to where I live, and I wish it was a little closer, because I get the feeling they probably get some good stuff sometimes, but there's somebody else nearby that cleans them out. Because the only thing that I found here today was this big brain game. Everything else was either something I already had, or computer games, and I am not currently interested at this point in collecting computer games. So, at least I found something... This trip to this store today was not very good for either Hannah or I, but I'm so glad we stopped. I need to come to this store just a little bit more often. I've mentioned this quite a bit here and there on the channel that I do shoot video for a living. That's how I make my money. That's how I've made my living for about 10 years now. And I have another kind of side hobby of collecting different vintage camera lenses and modifying them to fit my video cameras in a better way. I 3D print parts for them. I do lots of cool stuff. I didn't end up buying any here today, but they did have quite a few down here that I was a little bit interested in. But ultimately, there was nothing that I really just had to leave here with today. But I do like seeing this stuff in thrift stores for sure. So we pretty much just left with the video game. And right before we left, we noticed all this furniture. And all this furniture that you're seeing here is made by a company called Article. And if you guys watched an episode a few episodes ago where we resold some furniture, this furniture is very much so very similar to that brand and very aesthetically similar. And when we saw this, we knew what it was. We were very excited and wanted to buy it and flip it just like we did our previous furniture that we sold on this channel. But all that stuff was pretty much listed for the price that we would have been able to sell it at. So that was a bummer. That couch, we definitely could have flipped it for five or 600 bucks. It had 400 on it. We could have went ahead and made a couple hundred bucks on it, but it really would have been a gamble and it would have had to set for a while. It's not at all as cheap as that last stack of furniture we got, so we passed it up, unfortunately. But on to this next Goodwill, there was immediately two copies of a Harry Potter game, and it's quite funny that they are the same game in every way, except one just kind of has a bigger EA emblem on it than the other. I thought that was interesting, and I don't really know what that means for collecting. I'm interested in getting a complete collection, and I am interested in collecting the Greatest Hits editions, but I'd probably really be jumping down too big of a rabbit hole if I were to start worrying about slight variations of cases like that, because it's very slight. But there's not a lot of video games here at this Goodwill, and I'm kind of bummed about that because it feels like I'm striking out Though there were these Dragon Ball Z DVDs, and you've probably watched this channel and probably seen that I like buying Dragon Ball VHS, but I'm just not interested in starting a DVD collection at this point. I, you know, there's nothing nostalgic about it, and it's just cluttery for me. So, as much as I like Dragon Ball Z, I'm not going to buy those DVDs. Now, here's where things got interesting. I was like, man, I'm going to leave the second thrift store with not much at all, and that's a bummer. But... I found a bag of Pez, and there's a few Pez in here that I really want for my Pez collection. That's right, some of you watching are going to be like, this man collects Pez, I do. And it must have been a lucky bag of Pez, because right here next to it is a Harry Potter game, and it's sealed. There was also a copy of Infamous for the PS3, but I already have a couple copies of that. So this haul is getting a little bit better, and I'm very excited about that. There was a PlayStation 2 10 bucks, and you know, some people are probably going to watch this and be like, Why didn't you buy that? Well, I usually buy them for two or three dollars at the bins. Ten dollars is actually way too much for me for a PlayStation 2. And I, that might sound a little silly, but you know, I'm very lucky to live where I live and be able to get this stuff much cheaper. But here's an NES for ten dollars, also, and a Wii for 15. I thought about buying the Wii, but I've got enough of those. But this NES for 10 bucks, look at this. 
it's going to be hard to see here in the video, but the terminal there and the video outputs, they're all super corroded. This NES is not at all in working condition. There's no chance it works. It's set at the bottom of a lake or something. It's that bad. But I still need some spare mechanical parts that are in here, specifically the mechanism that locks the game down. I need one of those badly, and it will be cheaper for me to buy this than it will be to order that. So I'm going to buy this bad boy. I will probably plug it up when I get home just to see if by some chance of a miracle it comes on. But I know that's not going to happen. But I will buy this for 10 bucks. So today is getting even better. The last stop for this haul is a Desert Industries, a Mormon thrift store. I stop here every episode. I could almost just make this entire series out of going to this thrift store because it never lets me down. And today is going to be no different. I can almost tell from across the room when I'm walking up to this game section whether or not it's going to be a good day because I frequent this store so much that I know when they've put new stuff out, they have it. And I could see these PlayStation 1 games from a mile away. That black and white on the side of those cases stands out really well when tucked in with a bunch of other computer games. So I'm definitely going to buy a few PlayStation 1 games today. When I saw this Frogger game, I got excited because I've got an empty Frogger case with no disc. But that was a PC version, not a PlayStation 1 version like I needed. But I'm happy to leave with some PlayStation 1 games today. If I buy nothing else and it ends here, today will have been a good haul. But let's look through the rest of these games and see if there's not anything else that I need. Here's a case with a football game in it with no artwork. What happened? Lots of sports games today. So there is a lot of leftover stuff today. But I'm thinking some of those Wii titles and a few of these Xbox titles are going to be stuff that I don't have. Ninja Reflex. Cool. We'll take. Sim Animals. There's so many Sim games. Just when I think I've got, I have to have all of them. Here's six more. And then here's a few more titles that I don't have. About five copies of Wii Fit, but they're all a little bit expensive. Here is Smurfs game. And if you saw, there's another copy of a Monster Truck game. I think I saw another copy of that last episode at a different desert store. And I already have it because somebody sent it to me in the mail. So we don't need that. Splitter Sale, I'm definitely going to buy some of these Splitter Sale games that I don't have. But I want to just get through the rest of these games real quick and see if there's not anything else to be super, super, super excited about. And it looks like I'm running into a bunch of sports titles. And here are a couple Hollywood video cases. I've made no secret of my love for these particular cases. So I'm going to have to think about a couple of those. But one of them had a PlayStation 1 manual in it. I don't know exactly what was going on. Pipe Mania, probably going to buy that. There were a few more games here that I didn't buy that I wanted to, but we were at the end of our budget for this week's thrifting, so I left a few there that I'm hoping when I go back this coming week might still be there. Fingers crossed. But there was also this Green Power Ranger Zord. I have this bad boy. He sits just off camera in a lot of my videos. A few of you who are interested in Power Rangers might have spotted him a couple times, but I thought about buying that one because it was in a lot better shape than the one I have. The one that I have was definitely played with hard by some kid, but I don't need another one. The one I have is just for looks, so it's all right. And then I checked the lockbox real quick before I left, and there was nothing. There was a little bit of camera equipment that was worth looking at, but no video games whatsoever. This particular desert doesn't ever really lock up its video games. There was a couple of copies of that old Republic game, Star Wars Old Republic, that I keep seeing out in the wild, but they had pretty high price tag on it. What'd you get? A pair of Rockies. You always get Rockies. I know, but I love them. These are cool though. All right guys, we are back in the game room and I'm pretty happy about what I got. What about you? I'm pretty happy with it. All right, well, let's talk about your clothes and then we'll talk about my garbage. Though my stack is small, it is mighty. Um, I have two pretty incredible picks. The less of the two incredible picks only because I get them so often. A pair of Rockies. <laughs> you know what? Somebody's going to click on this video and watch it and go, I've already seen this one. Because every time I say, hey, Hannah, what'd you get? You go, I got a pair of Rockies. But this one's different. Look at the button fly. It's just, you know. I would say about two-thirds of this video game collection behind me was paid for by Rockies. True. We sell every pair we get. Yeah. What well, else? Then also the weirdest pair of vintage 70s pants <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. What's weird about them? They're just this really specific color. They're, yeah. 
They're green and gray and orange and yellow and none of the colors that I would think go together. But they go together and they're really cool. They're like a little flare leg, you know. You think of a, a 70s groovy dude. This is what you think of him wearing. Is that all you got? That's it. I guess it's not terrible. I'm really happy with them. I mean, those pants are pretty cool. I'd wear them if they fit me, but I got two stacks of games and a bag of nonsense. Check this out. So, I bought a bag of Pez. Some of you are going to go, oh my god, finally he bought Pez. And then some of you watching who have not been around quite so long are probably going to go, why'd this guy buy Pez? Well, here's the thing. We made a couple of Pez videos. One of them in particular was ridiculous. We went to the thrift store and there was a box of like a thousand Pez. And something in my brain said, buy. And I bought the thousand Pez. We brought them home and we made a big, long, ridiculous video out of it. And if you haven't watched that video, I'm gonna leave the link below. And you know what? If you have watched that video, either way, go watch it again, because it's probably in my top five, the videos we've made. I mean, yeah, you should watch it again. It's, it's great. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> but what's really funny about that huge Pez haul that I had was that about 80% of it, maybe even 90% of it was like holiday stuff. What it looked like to me was a collection of Pez, someone was throwing away their, their extra stuff, you know, the stuff they didn't want. Like they kept all the good stuff and tossed their doubles and the holiday stuff that they were like, why did I buy this in the first place? Well, what's funny is that's what most of this is, is like holiday stuff, I'll show you. You know, Frosty, right? Like I don't need that. Pumpkin, I, I have these already is what's funny. Another Frosty. These are all old, but I bought this bag for a very specific few. First of all, a much older Batman. This bad boy is old. And then the ones that really caught my eye were these old and almost yellowing Star Wars Pez. So, I've already got a Pez collection. Go check that video out. And uh, I think you'll understand why this bag for just a couple bucks was worth it for just these three guys. The rest of it is literal nonsense. I mean, there's a bee. <laughs> I mean, it's all bad. There's lambs, bunnies. That was pretty cool. I've already got like three of them though. There's not another one in here I don't have. Quite literally. I'm trying to find one I don't have. Santa Claus. Oh, I didn't even see this, bruh. Double Batman. They're old. They're so old. Very happy with that purchase. I will be adding those to the Pez collection. Now, let's talk about the video games and then we'll move on to uh, the console that I bought. Couple PlayStation 1 games, Fox Sports Golf 99, and then Jet Moto 2, some sort of futuristic motorcycle racing game. I've not played it. Greatest hits though, cool. Big Brain Academy, we agree. I have seen a bunch of Big Brain games around for like the Nintendo DS. Didn't know there was one for the Wii, but not surprised. Probably my 6,000th Tom Clancy game that I bought this month, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow. Greatest hits. And then these, these were kind of funny. These aren't like rare, they're not really valuable by any means, but they're a little bit uncommon. It's Summer Sports and Summer Sports 2. There's the first one. There's the second one. I was glad they were both there. Just knocked those right out. Another Barbie game. Barbie, horse... Adventures. SRS Street Racing Syndicate. Very nice. And then Sim City Creator. And I was very happy to find this today because, uh, yeah, I, it was just, it's just awesome. That's all I have to say about it. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban sealed. We've got a sealed Harry Potter game. I'm, I, I probably really shouldn't be happy about that, but I'm super excited about that. Open it and play it. They should have played it. <laughs> well, what was funny about this Goodwill is there was two copies of a different Harry Potter game there, uh, an earlier one, I guess. And I didn't. I was like, oh, I've already got this one, and I might already have this one, but I don't think I do. But even if I do, I definitely don't have it sealed. So, bonus. And then a game that I've skirted around buying a hundred times because it doesn't have the manual or it's in bad shape, but I finally got it today. Spider-Man, just the first one, greatest hits. I have the regular one, but I've been looking high and low for the Greatest Hits one. And then last, and probably not least, because this looks like a ridiculous uh, top-down puzzly game. I don't know. Tell me if you know about this game. Pipe Mania. Comment below, should I play this? Do you know about it? I think it looks pretty exciting. 
it was complete. So I got it, and this one actually piques my interest a little bit. I'll probably be playing it this week. Now, Pez, video games, all things good. But look what else I bought. Boom! Now, I want to show you something. You probably already saw a couple close-up shots. It's not in the greatest condition, but look just how yellow this is. It ew. looks... <laughs> I probably... <laughs> it looks worse than you thought, doesn't it? I knew it was bad, but no. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty wild. Now, I know 100% that this doesn't work, even before I came home. I did plug it up just in case, by some perhaps chance of a miracle, it might work, but I knew it wouldn't. But I'll tell you why I bought it. And this is it. This is it right here. Hear that click? It works. I have another NES setting behind me. It's not even one of these two, because this is my working one. This is the one I play all my Mario games on. I've got another one here that's in perfect condition except for that locking mechanism. So, I'll be taking this one apart, putting that locking mechanism in the other one, and uh, I don't know, maybe I'll do something cool with the shell, like build a toaster into it, an actual toaster. I'm just kidding. It would clearly catch on fire. Uh, It'd be a health hazard. That's gross. <laughs> I'm, it was clearly a joke. I don't know. I'll do something cool with it. Comment below. You got any cool ideas what I could do with this uh, NES case? I could just, I don't know, give it a custom paint job, put it on a shelf, look at it, paint it Mario colors. I don't know. Cool. But that was, I'm, I'm happy with that. Ten bucks to get my other one working. You know, it, it's just, that's how much. It would probably cost twice that to get the part ordered that I needed. So I'm not mad about it. But guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing that we got today was. What was your favorite thing? Uh, those 70s pants. You're not happy about vintage Darth Vader Pez? I'm more happy about the other Rockies that I got. I bet you are. <laughs> she just loves Rockies. I do. I hope there's a bunch of people watching now that had no clue what Rockies are. And now they're going to be in public and you know they're going to look at somebody with high waist pants on and be like, Madam, are... Th oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me try that again. Madam. Aren't those Rockies that you wear? <laughs> I think the best thing I got today was probably... I mean, I am happy about this. And I'm excited to try a new game I've never played before. But really, these vintage Pez, especially a Stormtrooper. I've got a shelf with my favorite loose ones. I've got some over here on the wall that I really like. They're the ones that are all in box. And then I've got some over here on a shelf that are all loosey-goosey. And I'll be putting these with the loosey-goosey ones. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, listen... I need you to do me a favor. I need you to join our Discord. You hear me talk about this so much, and you probably wonder, what the heck is this Discord? Or you might even know, and you're not joining. But we're talking about all things video games over there, all things thrifting, all things flea markets, all things garage sales. We've got a lot of cool people on the Discord, guys and girls alike, daily sharing their thrift finds. And I do the same. I put my thrift finds up usually after the video posts, or sometimes right before a little sneak preview, that kind of thing. Hannah's over there sharing lit memes with everybody. Hannah's got the best memes. That's probably my favorite part of our Discord, is people sharing just the most ridiculous memes. But if the internet is good for nothing, it is good for memes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. One last thing, one more thing for me to beg you for, go follow us on Twitch. We're doing really well. It's going great. People are stopping by. Our numbers are going up, but we got to get to 50 followers on Twitch before we can, uh, you know, be real Twitch streamers, which is like... That's a dream that I have to be a real Twitch streamer. It, it's honestly, it's it's going fast. We just need 50 followers. We're a little bit more than halfway there. So go give us a follow. And then when you do, you'll get notifications when we go live and you can come and chat with us while we play video games, talk about all things good. Before you go though, guys, here on YouTube, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that when we post these videos in the future, you'll get a notification and you can come watch me buy sweet, sweet video games. And you can most certainly come watch Hannah by Rockies. Till next time, guys. Peace out.